Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Let's Play the Book of Unwritten Tales with Frozen Foxy. Last time we left off, we had uh, just come down here and we were making sure that Wilbur was not participating in anything because Ivo's a little bit of a prissy bitch who thinks that Wilbur can't do anything. Oh well. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe we can talk to Wilbur and appease him because we were mean to him. I can manage perfectly well on my own, and if I need gnome help, then I know where he's sulking. Uh-huh. You're a jerk. Let's see. Alcoves, huh? Hmm. Four little alcoves positioned around the entrance. There are strange symbols under each alcove which I can't read. Under those are words in the old language. Creature of water is how I translate this. Hmm. So, probably water, fire, earth, air kind of thing? Let's see. Creature of fire is written under this alcove. Seems like. This is the alcove for the creature of air. Alright. Creature of the earth is written there. Hmm. Okay. This must be the entrance to the temple. In the past, it must have been a side entrance or something. The actual temple with the main entrance has sunk into the ocean. I hope the connection to it's still intact behind this door. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine, you know? These ancient temples do that. It's kind of like Atlantis. Everything goes underwater, but you can still get to it. Or Rapture. Same difference. Anything else cool up here? No, it's just the door. Got a beehive over here. The bees' nest is definitely inhabited. There are bees buzzing around all over the place, and they're fighting the fire fairies for the nectar. Fire fairies? What fire fairies? I don't see anything like that. But it would be nice if I had some fire fairies, because I need some kind of fire. I'm supposed to reach into the bees' nest and steal the honey while the bees are still in the nest. Forget it. I've also got nothing to put the honey in. Hmm. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Ah, water bucket. Give me that. Captain Bonnet can get water up from the sea with a bucket whilst the airship's still in flight. But I don't have a clue what he does with it after that. He certainly doesn't wash with it. <laughs> he might drink it, I don't know. I mean, he could probably purify it or something if he had a little fire up there. Maybe he has some fire. Alright, so we got some water. Got a line here. Human ropes are so primitive. They get dirty, they rot, and they break. Eh, well, I'll take it. What else we got going on around here? Fire fairies, huh? Okay. Those are fire fairies. They're very rare. I haven't seen any for 200 years. Wow, you're really that old? You look pretty good for being that old. I mean, I know elves can get really old, but seriously, she looks great for being 200. Or over it, anyway. Fire fairies consist of pure fire. They have to gather nectar the whole day to maintain their flame. I see. So probably to catch these, I somehow need to get that nectar. Makes sense to me. Those are fire fairy. Eh, just the same thing. Let's see, we got the ocean down here. The sea swallowed the temple and the artifact of divine fate. If everything goes well, we'll claim it back again today. Sounds cool to me. Anything else? The sea swallowed the temple and the art. Nope. Got a ledge over here. I'd better not stand on that. Looks unsafe. Oh, come on. You're, like, really lith. I'm sure you won't fall off. I'd better not stand on that. All right, then. Dry earth, huh? One of the paving stones is broken. You can see the earth under it. The earth is hard and dry. Hard and dry, eh? How about some water, then? Maybe there's something buried here that can help. The earth is sucking the water up like a sponge. Hmm, something's moving in the earth. What is it? There are worms. The waters entice them up. Hmm. I'll take a few before they disappear again. Creatures of Earth, perhaps. Sounds good enough to me. Nothing else there, apparently. Let's see, what do we got going on around here? Um, got a branch. A snap branch, presumably from one of the trees up there. Strange vegetation here. Normally these sorts of plants and trees are more likely to be found in the south. 
I'll take that. Alright. What is this? Fish bones. Does that count as a creature of water? How did that fish get here? Maybe a seabird left it. Maybe. Or it was a flying fish. <laughs> <laughs> right. They do exist. Grandad Squadron was called the Flying Hellfish. I've seen some flying fish before, but I don't think that they can fly this high. Can I take something from this? I'll just take one bone. You never know when a small, sharp curved thing might come in handy. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not a creature of the water if I'm only going to take a little bit of it. But it looks awfully like a fish hook. A small, sharp, and curved fish bone. Right, so I imagine if I combine I've tied this the rope to the stick. with that. I've tied the fish bone to the end of the string. Nice. And we've got a fishing rod. This is the second fishing rod I've built for myself in the last two days. Well, you're probably getting good at it. Hmm. Maybe one of these will that help. That gives me a fully functional fishing rod. All right. Let's do some fishing and see if we can catch uh, what we need for this temple to open up. Hey, Wilbur, could you give me a hand? Of course. Okay. Can you catch a fish for me? Can leave him I, sitting here. I never fished before. I'm 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 from the mountains. Yeah. It's very simple and completely safe. Come here. And now? Now you cast the line and wait for a fish to bite. I should... Just throw it in. Oh, seriously? <laughs> How do you know if a fish is bitten? Oh, man. Oh. Wow. Well, What's bit? What? That's great. Okay, well, that's uh, one way to catch a fish. And now, and now, and now, what, what next? You go and stand next to Cheap Cheap again. I'll call you if I need any more help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll put the fish into the bucket. At least it'll have a bit of water in there. All right then. I suppose that uh, that works for that. Does that mean I can put that in one of these uh, alcoves? This is the alcove for the creature of air. Air. Creature of the earth is written there. Earth. Which one was water again? This alcove has creature of water written on it. Ah, bottom one. Does that work? There's no doubt that the fish is a creature of water. Cool. All right. Um, creature of earth, yeah. I'll place several creatures of the earth into the alcove. Hopefully they don't worm their way out of that. Now then, let's need those fire fairies somehow. I have a feeling that Cheep Cheep is the creature of air that I need. Hello Cheep Cheep! So, uh, there's some kind of Creatures of the Air alcove there. There are four little alcoves by the entrance, and Creature of the Air is written under one of them. Well, I just wondered if you could perhaps go into the alcove for a bit. Oh, get out of here, it's not a trap. Female intuition. <laughs> oh, well, I'll fill the other alcoves first. And then we can talk again, okay? Alright, so Cheap Cheap does not want to go in there until we finished filling everything. Which means I need to get a Fire Fairy first. Could you not make yourself useful somehow? Can't you help me somehow? I don't know either. Fly reconnaissance missions? Find another entrance to the temple? Push Captain Bonnet off the ship? <laughs> Why is the bird allowed to help when I'm not? Uh. Cheap Cheap can look after rod. himself. So can I? 
I am a certified mage. Yeah. Really? Then why don't you magic the door open for us? Apparently he can't do that. Of course, he's not very good at fishing either. So, I really could do with your help, Cheap Cheap. Maybe you could help me to get at the honey in the bee's nest. Perhaps you could distract them. You can fly so much better than them. Hey, that works. Alright. Let's go grab some honey, quickly. Quick, while Cheap Cheap's distracting the bees. He oh, flies I awesome. Have a suitable container. Oh, man. Okay. Um. What's around here? Cheap, cheap, Wilbur. Fish bones that I can't use anymore. I don't know. Can I get to Bonnet? Oh, yeah, I can. You have anything? Maybe some fire that I could just put in there? That would be a creature, right? Captain Bonnet! Mm. Are you quite sure that you're repairing that airship? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? It's raining breadcrumbs. Don't tell me that we took that detour yesterday solely to get your bread rolls. What are you implying? So, it was just incompetence. I thought as much. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you intend to throw the jar at my head? Hello? <laughs> well, very nice oh. catch there. Alright, so now we've got a nice glass jar, which means I should be able to get that honey. Hello, Cheep Cheep. So, I could still do with your help. Maybe you could help me to get at the honey in the bee's nest. Perhaps you could distract them. You can fly so much better than them. Alright. Let's try this. And Quick, go for while it. While Cheap Cheap's distracting the bees. Get me some honey. It brings us awfully close to where I was standing, though. There isn't much honey in the glass, and it's covered in bits of honeycomb. But there's enough for a sandwich. Well, we don't need a sandwich. What I need is to somehow get these with that. The fire fairies are cautious. They're keeping away from me. Hmm. Wait a minute. Can I put this down here? This could work. Hmm. The intellectual capacities of fairies are completely overrated. Come on. Come on. Lovely honey. Looks like we got one of them anyway. I think the rest are a little bit smarter. I've got you. All right, glass with the fire fairy. Which one was it? This one. I think one could call this little beastie a creature of fire. I would say so. You know, if it's made of fire, it probably is a creature of fire. Hey, cheap cheap. Hello, cheap cheap. I got one more thing for you to do, and that is to sit in a cubby hole. You are the only thing missing. A creature of the air. Now come on, please, just sit in the alcove. Nice. There you are. No trap. However, the door isn't opening either. Perhaps one has to... Cheap! Ooh. I hope that didn't squish him. Hello? Cheap, cheap. Thank the gods you're okay! It can't have been that bad. Oh, very well. But not the whole lot in one go. <laughs> See you, Cheap Cheap. Must be off to eat some snacks or something. So where the hell did it make Cheap Cheap go? Like, somewhere inside here? Because it looked like he flew out. Is anything else left? Mm, the alcoves have opened again. The worms, the fish, and the fairy have disappeared. Oh yeah? Anything else in there? The glass jar has remained in the alcove. I'll take that with me. Huh. Strange. Why did that remain in there? The fish has disappeared along with the water. 
but the bucket still looks okay. All right, and the worms were in there with nothing, as well as Cheap Cheap was in there with nothing, so I guess that's it for what I'm going to get from here. Let's find out what's inside. You want to come? Of course! Okay, but keep behind me and don't touch anything. And what about Mr. Professional Treasure Hunter? Are you coming? Well, uh, there are still a few things to do on the ship here. Sure. Really? Would you rather wait out here then and warn us if the Shades or that adorable bounty hunter appear? <laughs> on the other hand, you'd be completely stuck in that temple without me. Yeah, sure. And don't touch anything. If you see a precious stone anywhere, call me. It could be a trap. Sure. If you're such an expert, shouldn't you be going ahead? Not all traps can be seen in time. The expedition leader needs to keep safe. What a jerk. Wilbur, stay well away from him if you value your life. <laughs> what? This temple is ancient. What could happen to you here? Hmm. Shouldn't something unexpected happen now? <laughs> Enough messing around. We've got a job to do. Come on, and stick close together. Yeah, as close as possible, baby. I... That was a crappy ah. jump. Damn! Oh, great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Nate Stay just calm. wanted jewels. Stay calm. I'll think of something. She'll think of something, huh? Okay. Well, let's see what we got around here. Got some rings. Hmm, four stone rings with symbols on them, one above the other. They look like they could be turned. All right, can I do any turning? I guess they have to form some kind of combination. But trial and error isn't going to work here. There'll be thousands of possibilities. Oh, come on. Can't I just look at it? I guess they have to form... All right, then. Got some roots here. I wonder where these roots are coming from. There aren't any big trees around here. Perhaps there were some here in the past, and these are the remnants of the ancient woodlands. Hmm. What else we got over here? We climb through this. I'm not going down. I'll leave them to it. Really? You're not going to go down and help them? You're kind of a jerk too, but whatever. Let's see what we'll do. My first sunken temple, on. and the first thing I do is run into a trap. This is so cool. <laughs> I love Wilbur. What's going on? That's some sort of stone slab. I can't move it. Okay. Can you do anything else? Um, no. You're pretty stuck where you are. How about me? What's bound to happen? And who goes and lands right at the bottom in the mud? Well, I'm hoping it's mud. It's so dark here, I can't see my hand in front of my face. <laughs> ah, he deserved it. Let's walk. As long as it's pitch black, I'd rather stay put. For all I know, I could be standing on top of a slim stone column surrounded by piranhas with clubs. How would they even be surrounding... Wait. What? Exactly how does that even work? How would a piranha even hold a club? I can see... nothing. No light, no sight. Eh. Come on, I'm sure you can find your way out of here. I'm not going to get desperate and then grope my way around the walls trying to find an exit. Well, not yet. No? Hmm, okay. So, darkness means Nate's not going anywhere. Wilbur would walk anywhere, but Nate, he's a crybaby. What do we got in here? Looks like it goes further into the temple there. I should be very careful. This is a pretty cool looking place. Looks like a note or something up there. There's something glittering on the other side up there. I can't see what it is and I can't get close to it. Hmm. I got an adventure here. This adventure has had it. Doesn't look like his machete helped him much. A machete, huh? That could help me.
All right. Maybe I could cut those vines and they could just climb on back up. Be easy enough. It looks absolutely beautiful. The jelly glow fish are making the water glow with their bioluminescence. Hey, jelly glow fish. Maybe I could make a jelly glow fish lantern. These jelly glow fish have presumably never seen a bipedal being. They're very trusting. Nice. All right, what else we got going on around here? Grimacing face. That doesn't really look like a face to me, but peculiar okay. face it's pulling. The mouth's open wide. Looks like it should be fed with something. There's another face like that over there. Looks exactly the same as this one here. Hmm. I don't know. It looks more like a, a temple or a hut kind of thing with a little fireplace in the middle. That's just what I'm seeing from this angle. This door has no handle, no knob, and no lock. Just this crystal. Ah, I see. So probably these things up here. There's something glittering on the balcony. That could be the second crystal. I imagine it probably is. Oh, I can touch it. Does that do anything? Wow, that looks very promising. Only nothing else is happening. Hmm. Alright. Well, just the same thing on both sides. Got anything else going on in here? Looks like that about does it for in here. <laughs>